Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 awesome iPhone hacks and tricks that every user must try and know on their device. Now, another amazing trick is the like button on this video. It helps out a lot for this video and this channel to do much, much better. So make sure you don't leave this video without smashing that like button. All right, first of all, we're starting with locking apps. Now, this is the easiest way to lock any app you want on your iPhone with your face ID, touch ID, or even a passcode. Now, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your shortcuts app, go to automations, create personal automation, and just find here app. So here we have app, go ahead and choose the apps that you want to lock right here. So in this case, we're choosing app store we can choose a bunch of apps here how many apps you want and you can of course even edit that list anytime you want then tap next and tap on add action search for start timer so start so here we have start timer tap here and switch to seconds once you have done that tap on the 30 there and just enter one click next disable this make sure to do this tap on don't ask tab done and you're good to go you go out of here you go to the clock app you go to the stopwatch to the timer actually right here and tap when timer ends scroll all the way down and just choose stop playing tap set and now you're good to go you can see here if i try to open app store in a second the app will be locked it basically will automatically lock the device and send you to the lock screen and of course from here then you will need your face id passcode or touch ID, whatever you use to actually go into the app. Now, the cool thing is that once you enter your face ID, touch ID or the passcode, it will go right into the app. Now, as I said, you can edit the list of your locked apps simply by going to shortcuts, go to the automation and just tap right here. And you have the list of apps here and you can just select more or you can remove the old ones. There is a way to make your face ID much faster on your iPhone. And this is especially on older devices like the iPhone 10 or the 10 R. So what you need to do is go ahead, go to your settings, go under face ID and passcode and make sure you set up an alternate appearance. Now this will help face ID recognize your face much, much faster. So if you have like different looks, maybe sunglasses or just glasses or maybe a beard or something, you want to go ahead and enter your alternate look and this will make your face ID work much, much faster. Did you know that you can shoot videos using effects? Like let's say you want to shoot a black and white video. You can do that with the stock camera app of your iOS device. Now, if you go to video, you won't find that option, but right here on photo, all you got to do is just swipe up and tap this button right here. Make sure you go ahead and choose your effect right there and tap and hold here and just swipe like that and now you're good to go you can see you're shooting video with the effect that you like and it looks pretty awesome on your iphone you will be able to also shoot video while listening to music and of course that music will also appear on the video that you record now the way to do that you start playing your music so here we are on the music app here we have a song what you gotta do is just go ahead go to the camera app and don't switch from the photo mode on the photo mode tap and hold here and just swipe like this and now you're recording a video as you can see right here and of course still have the music playing in the background now the cool thing is that you can even take pictures from here using this button now the downside to this basically recording videos from the photo mode is that it will only shoot on 1080p but if you're just basically sharing them on your social media or just watching them on your iphone then they will be good enough you don't actually need 4k video now if you want to quickly scan documents on your ios device then the easiest way to do that is doing it from the control center of your device you bring up the control center and 3d touch on this little icon right here so this is the icon of the notes app 3d touch there tap on scan document and just like that you'll be able to scan a document from your device right here and you can see it even does that automatically and what you can do here is also go ahead and switch to like different modes so you have grayscale right there you have black and white and you even have photo you can choose whatever you want you can have here the flashlight turn it on or off and then you will see your saved right here so you can see all the different documents that we have captured here they will be saved automatically into a note 
Now, if you don't see that icon on the control center of your device, that will be easy to enable. Just go to your settings and go to control center and you should find it right here. Just tap the plus button and you add the notes right on your control center. Next up, I will show you guys how to give the icons and the widgets on the home screen of your iOS 14 device a 3D look. That will actually look amazing. And all of that, of course, thanks to the creator of the home screen creator shortcut. And the process now is very simple to do. I did show this on a previous video, but now the process is different way simpler and of course it will now work also on the iphone 7 7 plus 8 and 8 plus so you go ahead and visit the website that i will leave link right down below in the description of the video make sure to tap on download shortcut and once you're here just tap to add the shortcut once you have done that all you need to do is run the shortcut from the shortcuts app tap on ok right there and choose the device that you have so 12 pro max in this case and just tap OK right there. And now tap on download content. So you will actually need to download those files. So tap to allow right here and wait for a pop up here. So once the content has been downloaded, it will show you a pop up here on the screen. So let's just wait for that. So here is the pop up. The content has actually now been downloaded into the files app. And what you need to do is go ahead and tap on OK right here. And this will take you to the folder where content has been downloaded and it will be this folder right here HSC so you tap right there and tap on that to actually go ahead and just unzip the content that you need for this shortcut and of course to create those amazing 3d looks on the home screen of your device so once this is done it should take a few seconds here you will be able to actually apply these to your wallpapers and get that amazing 3d look on the home screen of your device so let's just wait for that to finish now once you have the files downloaded and unzipped then you will be able to actually create these amazing setups only using this shortcut now the process might seem complicated but it's actually not that much and you will be able to create some really beautiful setups as you can see this one right here it looks actually really really cool now the first thing you want to do is go to your shortcuts and just make sure you follow me here and understand this process so you tap on the shortcut and you will be able to tap right here yes add elements and right here create your layout so you go ahead and just go to shortcuts find the folder hsc right there and go to content and right here will have your icons you will have your widgets and docs as well so we go here and we can add like bumps we can add shadows we can add like shadows right soft shadows shadows soft anything you want so let's just try this one right here and we have here you can see all kinds of different layouts so let's say we want to create a layout where we have icons two rows at the top then on the middle we have like a medium widget and then at the bottom of course we have another two rows of icons so what you want to do here is go ahead and choose this one right here so you can see the shadows right there click done and go ahead and add another element tap yes right there and make sure you go back and then go here to content go to widgets and let's go ahead and choose here shadows as well and we gotta have to add that one right there so here we have the icons we have here the shadow for the widget and we can go ahead and add another one here so let's just add the shadows for the actually the icons at the bottom so let's go icons again shadows for and here we have the bottom row so the row on the third so here we have everything set up as we want to click done and now we're good to go and tap right here no save layout now once you have done this you save your layout you will be able to use this layout anytime you want with any other wallpaper without having to actually create it you just name the layout here anything you want so let's just do that and this layout will be saved right there under the shortcuts folder on the files app you can see under contents you go to layout and you will have your layouts right there ready to use without having to recreate them anytime you want to add them to a new wallpaper you click done and just go ahead and from here choose your wallpaper click ok and choose the wallpaper you want to use once you choose your wallpaper it will show right here to this pop-up you can choose if you want to have a card card and dock hide notch or whatever you want to do let's click on card right there and now it should show a preview of how the wallpaper will look click done right here 
And now here we have the wallpaper also with the shadows that we just created applied, click done and make sure from here, go ahead and save this as a photo. Now, once you have saved these as photos, you go ahead and set them as wallpapers. When going to set as wallpaper, make sure you pinch in like this to zoom all the way out, set it on the home screen, and there you will have this beautiful look on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Next up, I will show you guys how to set any video as a live wallpaper on your iPhone. You download this app that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have the app downloaded, you open it and load any video that you want to set as a wallpaper. So let's just skip this real quick. You tap right here. You load any video you want You tap on the video and you will be able to actually change the speed here add a change the cover. So whichever will be basically the cover, which looks as the wallpaper on the lock screen when you're not playing the live wallpaper you tap right there. You can even add a canvas right here. So just like that, if you want to do it and then just go ahead and click save. Once you click save, this will be saved actually as a live picture. So the entire video, whether that be maybe like 20 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever it is, it will be saved as a live picture by simply tapping right here. And then you will be able to apply it as a live wallpaper on the lock screen of your device. On your iPhone, you can set the volume for any of your devices automatically at any percentage you want. So let's say you want to have different volume for your home pod, different volume for your car and different volume for your head headphones. What you want to do is go ahead, go to automations, tap on the plus button, create personal automation, and then go ahead and find Bluetooth here and choose device. So here in this case, I want to choose my AirPods Pro tab done and then tap on next, add action and search for set volume. So here we have set volume and then go ahead and change this to any percentage you want. So you tap the next button, click on done. And once your device is connected to your iPhone, the volume will be adjusted automatically. Now, the easiest way on your iPhone to clear the RAM memory is using the camera app. So you can see right here, currently we have 350, 380 megabytes of free RAM memory. What you want to do is just open the camera app just wait for a second here and make sure you go ahead and close it. Go back here. You can see it will free a ton of space on the RAM memory. Now, of course, the RAM management on the iPhone is really great. So you don't actually need this. You will need it just in cases when like maybe an app won't work properly because it's stuck on the RAM memory and stuff like that. You can go ahead and clear the RAM memory and it should work just fine. And last but not least, a trick for your music app. So when you're playing music on your iPhone, maybe you're connected to a speaker or to your car, you know what, whenever you go ahead and receive notifications, it will interrupt the music. Now the way to fix that, just switch on the, the mute button and you won't get any interruptions on your music while playing it on your car, on the speaker or anywhere you like. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 10 hacks and tricks that I believe every iPhone user should know and use, of course, on their device. Thank you guys for watching. Now we'll see you on the next one.